Okay, the next two episodes are going to be amazingly important. We're going to unlock a hell of a lot of stuff. Now, a couple of things have changed here. The farming videos are already going to be in the playlist, so you guys will have seen kind of what we've been doing. But the important thing that we want to get done right now is get it so that we have two soul rip slots up there. Been meaning to go back and get this done, but I keep on forgetting. So let's go back to Skyrest before we set out. So we've got two of them available. It's not really essential for this zone specifically, but it's good practice. So let's go ahead back to Skyrest. We're going to have a lot of business there. This episode, we should unlock the ability to get boss gear. Not that we really need it. We don't have all that much to get. We only have Pieta, and all of her stuff is radiant anyway. We're also going to be getting the blacksmith as well very soon. So things are looking up. Now then, so when it comes to um, changing the lamp, I guess you would say, it's almost like an extra um, passive equipment slot. We come and speak to this guy, and we can see we have socket umbral eye. If you've been following along, you'll have a couple of these already. And we want to socket our umbral eye and betrayed Eliard. That's going to give us the extra soul flay there. So get that on. That's just going to be very nice and very good practice. I could spend a little money on new armor. I may well do that between this episode and the next one, but for now, I kind of want to just keep everything looking similar. Um, the armor set that I like the most is the next is in the next episode anyways. It's up to you guys if you want to go ahead and, you know, spend some time powering up. I really wanted to get... Uh, that's 15, that's 20, that's 20, that's 20. Just really good. One, two, three. Got three left. The three most important to me right now is going to be those. And then we're going to go ahead and travel to... Seedling, because that's where we were. The good thing about me leveling up that way is that basically everything put into Radiance just there is not going to have an effect on what we do. So it shouldn't be that drastic. Now we can set on out. So first things first, this very first part, we actually do want to be in the Umbral Realm. So it's almost like knowing that you can farm here right now is a bit of an advantage. First things first, we want to jump over to the left. Give me some loot, loot up here. Now, <laughs> because obviously I was doing some farming, I picked up the piece of loot up here, but I'm just making sure we go all over all of the land. That way, if I do happen to have already picked it up because I was kind of messing around, you guys will at least see it all. Now, see all these little bits of damage we're doing right now? That's going to improve very soon. I almost completely forgot about you. And I guess we should probably go and get the flamethrower as well. Which we'll do very soon. Oh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I need you to not be misbehaving like that. We are very close to the second axe, which is going to be a huge improvement in damage. Like, when I say huge, like double. Right? Because basically, when, when you swing like that, it's going to be two axes instead of one. That's literally what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to jump across here. Really just slay me there. There's that little bit of health left. We've literally just put a bit more Inferno as well. Like, come on. So we've got the pulsing arrows right there. And the hallowed bow. Probably a good thing for people to find, especially if you're like a melee class and you want a bow, maybe. Not the worst thing to have picked up. You feel like we've taken lots of damage now, you can take a heal if you wish to, but you shouldn't really need to. If we can get up to the top here really quickly, we can soulfully you. Straight off to the left. The stairs seem to interfere with it. And I was trying to get it to run off this ledge, and this bit here for some reason seems to get it stuck. So this is definitely the best and quickest way to get rid of that one specifically. I'm going to head up this way. So it's throwing stuff at me, I don't know why. Right. Go ahead. Pop that, thank you. And then you want to come over here, pull this over. Grab this. And very quickly now I want to roll off down here. I'm probably going to put in the title that this is how you are able to get boss gear. Basically. Let me get the blacksmith in a minute. We'll be giving this thing to it. Is it the blacksmith? No, no, no. It's not the blacksmith. It's the guy we just went to. The person that improves the umbral lamp. We give this item to. No, that's the prayer. Where is it? Not that item. Okay, get some more. 
still come. It's this episode anyway. Right. So dun 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 dun. Open the shortcuts. That's that. So you could rush back if you wish to get yourself out of the uh, the umbral realm. But I think we're pretty much okay for now. And getting ten percent extra bigger just is not an issue for us, as well as a few extra enemies. So obviously we've got a big boy here. So if you stand like here like this. One charge. Oh. Yesterday you don't want to play, huh? It's alright, we got options. Wow. This has got a lot on it. Yeah, we should definitely have gotten the flamethrower. That would have been way really useful right now. Oh, I'm too many. Especially when I'm doing so little damage. <laughs> we've got to deal with it because we've got to go down that platform just there. Okay, there is. There is oh no, we can't use that because there's too many enemies. Right, there we go. So, all this pilot's coming out of Umbro because we've got to go down here. You could put yourself a checkpoint here if you wanted. But I don't I don't think it's worth it, not really. Defaced ring. Not really. We've got these on the ledge. Make your life a bit easy for yourself. That done, that done. So this area is going to have a lot of stuff. In, but look at that, look. So even though it, it almost makes you think, no, nope, there's no way we're overleveled because we are already able to level again. Right? No such thing as overleveling in this game. They definitely want you to put the points in. Right, done, 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 done. Up the thing. Back naturally. I am tempted to get out of rumble right now. Just to calm things down a bit for myself. I've got to finish it. Because otherwise it's gonna knock me out of the uh, of the air. Finish that. Right, so wait until this is shot again. I want to make sure there's a gap, right? And then you can jump across to this. A uh, good thing about this is you can stand in this corner. And then we can suck that away. Allows us to progress a little easier. Always defeat these, they drop the heal over time items, so just make sure you're always doing that. Anytime you're near them. And they're asking you to do it anyway. Hello, praise weapon. Progress, keep on coming. And we're gonna kick you off. Gonna charge again, look, look at that. Hey, go on then, charge. No, you're not gonna do it. I heard you slapping yourself. You can charge off. Uh, if we need to, we can also soul flame off. So, whichever one is better is what's gonna happen. Do we have any helium times left? No. I don't know. It hurt if it gets me. I could toast you. Yeah, come on. I'm gonna have to fight you. Let's go. Damn it. I tried to lock on there and it uh, spun my camera around instead. 
Ring around Rosie. Damn it, did it again. I have a preference for Lucky On, please. I need that. No, oh, it wasn't far enough. Oh, yeah, it was. Haha. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Whoops. Right, it's over round two. Let's go ahead and fight you, shall we? Oh, no. That's too many friends. I can't fight you with friends. I can fight them one on one. That's not an issue. Friends, that's not. That's not how we play. Oh, they're literally just going to keep coming as well. I got, I got properly foiled here. There was some bad luck. There's the headbutt. That's what you need to not get hit by. Oh, I didn't think that was going to get me there. Okay, then round two. Let's see if we can get to go correctly this time. Kick you off. You. I mean, I could have cheesed it with the flame, but I really want to, like, leave as much things in your guy's pocket as I can. Oh, there we go. That's what I was saying about before. You could make it charge off. Now, now, now it'll tell me that you can, look. See? I don't know where it dropped my stuff, though. Like, it's not the end of the world. But, uh... Kind of ran off of my stuff. <laughs> oh well. Right. Into Umbral. So be careful here, because there's stuff that can aggro from a distance away if you're not careful. And there's tons of enemies. Oh man, get off. That was a lot. I'm gonna heal using my fire. Oh, that enemy's got my stuff. I'm not, if that's like right back at the beginning zone, I'm not going back for it. That's, uh, that's fine. It can keep it if it's that desperate. Right, so. We want to pull this over. I guess we'll grab this loot. Bird and falchion. Kind of secret. There are a lot of these guys. The issue with them is if they do their big pushy move, they push you like it around in a big circle and they just kind of pass you around on it. It's such a weird move. Oh look, hello. Left it there, look. Well, thank you. <laughs> Let the power flow through you. I guess we'll go with... Stamina and health? That's kind of all there is. Let's go. Mm -mm -mm. So because we made it back, now we can actually make the jump over this way. I can't stress enough to, like, you know, fight all the enemies. You probably should. Like, I need to not take all day when I'm doing these videos for you guys, but... You know, th this game is effectively in permanent horde mode. The idea of abstaining from leveling does not make sense to me. Where's that shooting from? That's what I mean, look, some of them just shoot from miles away. It's a bit rotten, if you ask me. Got me as well, you little bugger. Okay then, so. You have choices here, because as you can see, we are obviously being hoarded upon right now. The checkpoint is literally over there, okay? So we can knock this ladder down, 
the way back to where we are on the umbral lock is just across these bones. So, make the decision yourself. If this rafter here is like mega full of enemies, maybe don't get this. If it is full of enemies, instead, just come on over this way and we can reset at the checkpoint and then get it in a more comfortable fashion. Right, there's going to be a big guy that wants to charge at you out here. We're going to absolutely ignore you. We'll grab this. It doesn't even drop anything special. And it's guarded by one of the book things, so... You can uh, do one, buddy. <laughs> and now if you want to fight it, you can fight it, right? Because you can go ahead and... And they strip the thing off it. Get past it. Come on, charge out. Charge out, that's fine by me. Send you off there. As I said before, so if you didn't manage to get that before, now, you can just enter into umbral mode, go over there, get it nice and comfortable. That just should not be an issue. Very much. This. Yes, by the way, there is stuff we're going to be doing later. That, um... Oh yeah, that's behind the door with the key. We're not going through there just yet. That can most certainly wait. Was I wrong? I thought we were going to unlock the ability to get boss stuff this episode. Items. Upgrade and key. All two doors. So much stuff. the cleric. That's for the cleric. What's been wrong? Pretty sure it's wrong here. I haven't even handed that in yet so we can get more heals. Hilarious. Alright, so that's the first part of this area done. What kind of time are we on? Yeah, I was expecting this to be kind of one episode-ish. I'm going to check through my notes and make sure... We are not missing a terrible amount. I don't know what I want. I don't want to like just go evenly now down these four stats. Right, we're in we're in the good mood at this point. So yeah, we're gonna have a quick check through my notes, make sure I know where everything is, and then we can continue. Do that. See you all again very shortly. Oh yeah, and obviously, don't forget, exhaust all the dialogue. Good practice, remember? Always exhaust the dialogue. Like 